All right, what's going on? I don't know if anybody's on. You guys can hear me. Can we do an AV check for me? That'd be great. This might be a little loud because I had to adjust my uh, my game audio for another game last night. So let me know if the mic audio and the game audio is a little bit too loud. Or if they're not. Start recording. I always forget to start recording when I do this thing. And I want to like, oh, I haven't had anything recorded. All right, I don't know where the best place to put the camera is on this game. I think when the map goes away, that should be a good spot for it. But we'll see. Let's see what happens. All right, this is one last midnight. We're doing a little truck in Friday. Woo -hoo. Yeah, so I got back from uh, Ireland. Some crazy driving. We're gonna take this um, Dacer. I think that's pronounced. We're gonna do these wall panels, 22 tons. Hey, what's going on, Catherine? Appreciate you joining me. And uh, we're gonna drive this up side of England here. Hopefully, it's not too crazy. So yeah, the Ireland trip was good. Did a little driving in Ireland. I, I prepped with Euro Truck Simulator 2 to kind of get used to it. And. Uh, yeah, not quite the real thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, not quite the real thing. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, it was good. It, it kind of, you know, it was kind of okay. I constantly had to tell myself to um, drive on the left-hand side of the road. Drive on the left-hand side of the road. All right, where are we going? We're going to the right. Let's see. Take a quick peek over here. Nobody. Nobody. Go, go, go. And circles, man. I think I got circles kind of down. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I got circles down. I think I got circles down. The biggest thing about circles was... Um, was understanding... Um, and I don't know if I, I fully understood, but when to yield. Like this, we're going right over here. Yeah, when to yield. I was, that was a little tricky for me because um, I never knew when to yield. Who had the right of way? I don't know if it was like a four-way stop, you know, U.S. four-way stop where you take turns. Whoever gets in there last. I just kind of, you know, I, I use my best judgment which was um if i was there i win <laughs> i don't know, I don't know. it's totally messed up it's totally messed up that and the whole pedestrian thing oh man the pre oops we got too close the pedestrian signals there was there was one time where i definitely went the wrong way on the pedestrian signals. I, there's somebody behind me that was honking their horn at me. And it was amazing in Ireland. It's like nobody honked their horn. It's um, very, very courteous drivers. Very courteous drivers. I was very impressed with um, how courteous everybody was. I mean, the people were fantastic. The drivers were fantastic. Um, it's kind of interesting because there was one point in time where we were in this little town and there was this girl, she was young, she she had to be... Ow! I got a speeding violation for eight over, dang it. That was expensive. Um, she had to be like 18 or maybe, maybe in her very young 20s and um, I, I knocked on her window she was like on the phone and she was eating and we were looking for a place to eat and she rolled down her window she had a conversation with me I you know US I don't want to say people are I think they're more suspicious I guess is what I want to say I don't know that somebody would have just rolled down their window I mean, I guess it depends on what state you're in 
I guess that's kind of a broad statement. I guess if you're, I hate to say this, but if you're in New York, I think people would be like really suspicious. But yeah, so you know, it was very cool. I I, I don't know that I got all of the the road nuances. This I'm supposed to go straight through and around. And the roads, oh my god, the roads were so, so tight. All of the roads were like, I couldn't believe it. They were just, just wide enough for a vehicle. And, let me get on this freeway here. This was get on and then get off. Is that how this is working? I think so. Um, just wide enough for a vehicle. I, I couldn't believe it. And then when you're going down the road and you've got like a truck coming at you. Oh, man. You want to talk about driving just absolutely on the edge. I think I'm going through this. Why am I going through this little gas station thing? This is really weird. This is the off-ramp? I don't need any gas, do I? No, I have a full tank of gas. A full tank of gas? I got on the freeway to get off the freeway. Okay. Or highway or whatever. I already got bumped 300 bucks. Can't believe that. Oh, uh, that was another thing. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out. There was always these little signs. Better let me. Oh, you jerk! There was always these signs for um, this cam. There's a picture of a camera and on the freeway, and I don't know if that meant that there was a like one of the speed cams, the one I just got hit by, or if it meant it was like a scenic. A scenic, a scenic uh, area we could take a scenic shot. <laughs> we all seem to think that it was, um, well, I seem to think that it was uh, a little speed camera. My um, difference of opinions in the car, for sure, of whether if it was a, a scenic or a speed camera. It's kind of kind of trippy. I did try to memorize some of the the road signs, but man, there's a, there's a lot of European road signs. I did the important ones, like uh, the speed limit and, and when not to do something. Um, at least I tried to get those down, but wow, what an experience. What an experience. Beautiful country. I came back wanting to move there. That's how beautiful the country was. Let's see if I can drive this and change my view.
that's the windshield wipers, right? This is the lights. Okay. Get our lights in. Do A1. And get over. Man, I hate doing this with the controller. You have no feel for it whatsoever. Hey, Goblin, what's going on? Can't hear you over the truck. Okay, well, good. I was, I was asking for an AV check. Wait until I... Um, hold on. I think I can pause here. Hold on. Yeah, I had to bump it up because of um, a game that I was playing yesterday. Nobody could hear the game. Let me reduce it back down to where it was before. Yeah, better now? It's like you can't hear anything at all. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get back into the game. I was paused. Okay. I reduced it. Let me know. Let me know how it is. Uh-oh. Hey, slow down, slow down. Are we going into... We're reducing speed? Yeah, it's 50. We're going down to a 30. Whoa. Okay, okay. I'm reducing speed, bud. How's the sound now? I usually turn the, my headphones way down. So I don't have a good indication of what the sound really is like. Let me know if it's better. I just turned it up in my ear. Yeah, when I did the outside view, I just jacked the sound down, way down for the game sound. But let me know if it's still... Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let me, thank you for letting me know, I really appreciate that. Yeah, so I was jabbering away about Ireland. I don't know if you guys heard any of that about Ireland, but... Ireland was cool. It was cool, and this game actually prepped me for some of that driving. I Nothing prepped me for the road size and having, you know, a semi-truck, uh, like, being on top of me, right next to me, and having a brick wall, like, a rock wall, right on the, the other side of me. That freaked me out. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> we're driving down the road, and we're going to Cliffs of Moore, and, uh, it's of course, it's the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic Coast Highway in Ireland. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, we're going down the road. We're getting close to the cliff some more. And I'm, I'm hugging the left-hand side of the road as much as I can to make room for the tour buses that are coming down the road. And my dad's sitting over there. He's, he's like, <laughs> he's like, you know, you're really close <laughs> to, to these rock walls. And I said, yeah, don't, don't look at that. I'm really on my side. I'm really close to these tour buses. <laughs> he's freaking out, and I'm freaking out. <laughs> it was good. It was good. We did one. There was one day that was kind of a burn day. We sh we probably never should have done that day, but I'm, I'm kind of regretting that day. We went to Cork. And we did get to see the Rock of Cashel. That was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, but unfortunately, that was such a long drive that we probably could have done uh, something else. Rose, where you live? Yeah. <laughs> where do you live? You're you're in uh, in the U.S. I mean, I've done windy roads. I used to live in California. I was uh, I've driven Highway One many times. And uh, my grandparents used to live in the desert. Those were narrow. Those are old timer roads. Those were like when you had a horse, a horse and buggy. You're driving along. But you know, usually in America, you have a shoulder. You know, and that was one thing I saw in Ireland. There was never any shoulder. It was just the. It's like if you wanted to pull over, there was no way to pull over. You had to stop in the middle of the road. Yeah, it's like nobody wants to give up their land to put a shoulder on the road or something. I, I don't know. It's kind of bizarre. Oh, I better slow down before I get ticketed again. 
I need to figure out how to turn on cruise control again. Southwest Virginia, yeah. You're in a drainage ditch, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the same when I was driving in Oregon. It's like they put drainage ditches everywhere. I guess it just depends on the country, right? If it's really wet, if it's really wet, they got to do something with the water. Right, I got to pay attention to my roads here. The gorgeous stuff. I still have. Hey, John, what's going on? I still have a ton of video that I need to go through. I, you know, people's holiday videos. You don't want to watch them. They're all boring as hell. <laughs> but I, I told my parents that I would put them up, so I need to put them up. I did do the second one. I need to go back and edit it. It was um, long and drawn out. And uh, it got kind of boring. We, My wife and I watched it. I said, uh, I need to shorten that. It's, it's just too boring. The Guinness store. I was amazed. I thought the Guinness store, we would be in and out of the Guinness store in an hour. And we'd have time to do other stuff. We actually were in the Guinness store for like four, four and a half hours. And you didn't. I, I didn't realize we were in there that long. We we just kind of worked our way through it, you know? We did the tasting. We did the, whatever, the smelling room. We did the... My wife and I learned how to pour beer. And uh, we just went through reading all the signs and all that stuff. And, yeah, we wound up being there a lot longer than we expected. And that day was the day after our travel day. So everybody was tired. We got up late. And, yeah, we should have we should have been a little bit more diligent on getting up. We put ahead. We were trying to, to do at least two things that day. So we only got the Guinness store and we did a, a tour bus tour of Dublin which is cool got to see a lot of the places we didn't get to to really sit down and, and you know go there personally and visit it it would have been nice to visit some of the museums and stuff but we got two kids they they have to be a little active it's like museum uh, I want to do a museum is this a three lane? If it is, I'm gonna get over. Why'd they move to a three lane here? Got a hill coming up or something? It's kind of weird. Yeah, right. Renew, reading your thing. You gotta have the drainage ditches. Oh, that was lights. The windshield wipers on. Yeah, that was Oregon. I, I spent some time in Oregon. Oregon had drainage ditches all over the place. Uh, I need to check that out. You remember what it's called? I watched this little YouTube video on the how Dublin became prosperous. Dublin is like the number two European country um, for money. It was very interesting how they became prosperous. Mainly it was IT related stuff, but it's expensive there. It's just because it's euros. It's one. One, it was 124, 125. But everything seemed kind of pricey. More pricey than I thought it would be. That was kind of interesting when we went to the grocery store. That was another thing. The grocery store was kind of an interesting experience. But when we went to the grocery store, we were able to get pretty decent. They, they sold these like little like mixed vegetables and potatoes and some meats and stuff in these little containers and it was like three for or three for 10 euros which wasn't wasn't a bad price considering that if you went out even to get a drink it was like seven euros so that was okay and when we went to when we went to cork we did go to the English market, which is uh, an old English market, was there when 
the British were in rule. And it's still there. It's a beautiful market. I couldn't believe the price of stuff. Uh, thanks, Goblin. I couldn't believe the price of stuff. We wound up buying some chicken there. It was chicken breasts. And, man, it was like three euros or less than three euros for uh, just a ton of chicken breasts. It was like several pounds of chicken breasts. Gorgeous looking meats there. Well, I can totally understand that with all the farms and stuff around, though. Didn't have a steak there, though. Should have. Cows everywhere. We did have milk, though. Need some Irish cow milk. Was good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so I was gone for a while for, from YouTube. Sorry about that, guys. You know? Right, my parents came in, and then... Um, and then we went to Ireland and then my parents stayed for a little bit longer and it was like I had prepped up a couple videos but then most of it was like um, Skyrim and Elder Scroll I didn't have really anything else prepped up so when I got back that was like okay that's that's the only time I could post stuff and then my parents left and I was like okay now I can actually start recording stuff but I'm, I'm like weeks behind I'm just now starting to get back on schedule it was a little hard to get revved back up which is loud John me or the or the the vehicle Because I've had some people say that the vehicle was really loud and my voice wasn't loud enough. I can come down some more on the vehicle. You can't hear me talk? How is it, how's, how's it for everybody else? Uh-oh. Almost missed that. And I didn't look before I got that damn truck off. How's it for everybody else? Can you hear me talk? Of course, the cleaners, hold on. The cleaners were in the house, so they might have messed with my... Let me bump my gain just a little bit. How's that for my gain? They, haven't, they didn't play with anything else. It seems like everything else is pretty set. Uh, let me drop down. You can hear my voice when I'm driving. Let me drop down the... You gotta alt tab out to do this, but let me let me drop down the speakers just a little bit more. You can hear me on Twitch fine. What about YouTube? Okay, I, I took the game, the the vehicle volume down. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Alright. Try to pick this up. Let's see, how much farther do we have to go? Uh... Okay, well, I turned it down a little bit more, so it shouldn't be that loud. Let me know if you guys are still having problems. I also upped my gain a little bit, so... You should be able to hear my voice a little bit better. All right, totally forgot what I was just saying. Oh, the English market. English market and produce there and stuff is just beautiful. Good looking stuff. Oh, but the whole market experience is not like the US market experience. You know, I went. we went into the market and we were looking for um, some milk for the following day. And we went into, it was supposed to be a pretty big market. We went into the market, the big market, and we were like, uh, where's the milk? And he's like, we ran out of milk. And I'm like, how do you, how do you run out of milk? That's, that's totally unheard of. And he was like, yeah, we ran out of milk for the day. And I'm like, for the day. So it's like, okay. There wasn't a lot of anything. It's like they just brought in enough 
to make it through the day, which is beyond smart. It's not what U.S. does. The U.S., you have everything and in abundance, and I bet you a ton of it just absolutely gets wasted. So, you know, it's amazing, pretty amazing. Underworld of Ireland. Uh. Goblin, you hear me okay? You hear me and the truck and everything okay? You know, if you had to rate me from 1 to 10 and the truck from 1 to 10, what, what would you do? You're saying on YouTube you can hear me, but on Twitch you can't hear me? It's kind of weird. You hear me really loud. Oh, oh. Yeah, well. Those. Okay. All right. I was I'm I'm hoping that it's not it's not any of my equipment. I'm louder than the truck. Good. I want to be louder than the truck. All right, how many miles do I have to go? It feels like I've been driving this thing forever here. It's raining. I got 157 miles to go. Get out of here. ETA is Wednesday. Do I have to sleep? Oh, I might have to sleep. Oh, interesting. This is like the first time I need to sleep. Do the outside view for a second. Okay, hold on. Give me, give me a second while I'm not like going around a turn or something. Because that wouldn't be outside view. That'd be like me into the, the guardrail. Hold on. Let me get it straight away. And we'll do the outside view. Alright. I think I've got enough of it straight away. Here we go. Yeah, well that's going to be loud. That truck is going to be loud. That's all truck sound, man. Nothing I can do about that one. Though, it should be quieter. In my ear, it's like really loud. Ah! Go to six. Go to ground level view. Got a question? I might have an answer. How's the outside view? That's pretty it's probably pretty loud, right? Alright, let me flip it back to the inside. What's your question, sir? If I can help, I would be more than happy to. All right, I gotta find some place to sleep. It's saying I, I need some sleep. I mean, it's not saying I'm super tired, but that little blue thing is filling up. Whoa, strayed there. Strayed a little bit. Sorry, bud. Sorry, sorry. Can you still hear me before the truck drowned me out? Yeah. Outside is truck is loud. Truck is loud. Uh oh. Oh, I put on Nightbot. Uh, I need to. Oh, dang it! Dang it! That's what I get. That's what I get for reading that. <laughs> you know what? They, what somebody needs to build in their vehicle is uh, an auto speed thing. You, know, you have a smart car, the whole smart car deal. I wonder if the smart car deal knows the speed limit. Because if you have your GPS on, like this GPS is down here, it'll tell you when the speed changes. So the car should just like automatically, you know, slow down for you. So you don't get hit for $300 ticket. I was only going like five miles over. That's so weak. That's so weak. I wonder how many tickets I got in Ireland. Never saw a cop on the freeway. Never. Ever, ever. I saw a lot of signs for those little cameras. Never saw the camera. And yes, I was probably speeding. 
I tried to judge it like the US, you know. I was like, okay, maybe I'm 10 kilometers over. I, I'm okay. I don't know. All right, we're going to go to the next services area before we start to sleep. We, we are starting to fill up, though. I, I'm not to the point where I'm, like, sleepy, sleepy. I mean, I only have 114 miles to go. John, what was your question? All right. It's like I'm getting into city here. I keep going straight on the A1. We're getting close. I mean, kind of 100 miles. This was not a bad, a bad little run. I mean, it was kind of expe um, kind of long. Got two tickets, 600 bucks. They're kind of rainy the whole way. Yeah, and the trucks, and it was funny. My dad and I were driving down the highway, and he's all like, you know, I haven't seen any semis. I'm like, yeah, it's those little ones right there. <laughs> they look like looking moving trucks. U.S. equivalent of moving trucks. More, more tourism, though. A lot of tourism in Ireland. Whenever you got next to, like, a... Any kind of tourist location, there's like signs for bed and breakfast all over the place. And I have to tell you, if I had to do Ireland again, that's exactly what I would do. I would fly into Dublin and then immediately get a car, drive maybe half an hour, 40 minutes down the road. And, um, oh, I slow down, slow down before I get hit. And then, uh, like, hit some bed and breakfasts. I, I looked at the prices. They were they were reasonable. I mean, we got an apartment in Dublin. And the price was really good. It's a pretty decent price. Oh, they loved it. They loved it. They loved... We went to this... Uh, let's see. It was the third day. Let's see. Third day or... Fourth day. Yeah, fourth day we went to Newgrange and wound up staying there all day. Spent all day up that Newgrange area. That was pretty neat. The Neolithic site. It was the fourth day that we were there. Third or fourth, trying to remember. But we went to this abandoned castle and it it wasn't it was pretty intact. I'm trying to remember the name of it. And um, if I had to say that was probably their best because there was no, when we pulled in there, there was nobody there. It was totally free. And you walked up this hill and then you just got to explore this castle ruins. And it was pretty, it was a lot of ruins. I was very impressed with the size of it. And it's on top of this hill overlooking the valley down below a 360 degree view of this valley and man they played in that area i would say like two hours and of course they're pretending they were knights and stuff and it was like <laughs> they, were having, they were having a good time they were having a really good time that was that was cool that was a cool day there was something else we did that day that was on the way to some other so much to see so much to do it was a blur of course i had to do all the driving 
my wife's a car sleeper. So she does a lot of the sleeping. Yeah, we didn't get to visit the Blarney, Blarney Castle. We were going to visit the Blarney Castle, but that was in Cork. And that, from Dublin to Cork, is about a three and a half hour drive. So we did the Rock of Cashel instead and spent some time in Cork. Hold on, let me get through this S turn. Spent some time in Cork and then um, drove back. It was a long drive. We didn't we didn't get home that night until I think we pulled in at like ten thirty or something. We, maybe a little bit later. We we pulled in barely enough time to get to the parking lot. The parking lot closed at eleven, so I remember us pulling in just in time to get our car in. That was a lot of speeding on the way home. I was booking it. Yeah, usually their school, they go to a private school. Their school usually asks, like, what'd you do for summer? And it makes, makes them write kind of like, um, they keep a journal. So it usually makes them write their experience. It's gonna be interesting to read what they found was the most interesting. But I think that that probably was the most interesting for them. The Book of Kells. Ethan liked the Book of Kells a lot. He had a really good time. Yeah, so we got the first... I got that first video up. I need to... I need to edit the second video. Shorten it up a little bit so it's not so boring. And, uh... Post that so my parents can see it. And then whoever else wants to watch it. And then uh, try to get the other days. I had that. My wife got me for Christmas um, a hero, a little mini camera, the hero camera, and um, that was a cool camera. It was okay. It, we had to have. We wound up taking. I, I guess the the only thing that I would say about the camera is I don't. I didn't have enough memory in it. I had uh, sixty gigs of memory and that was not enough and and taking 60 gigs of memory every single day i just brought a little uh, surface my surface and that doesn't have much memory in it to begin with maybe it's got a solid state drive with like 256 or something a oh, man forget it i couldn't take any more video The stream and YouTube tab out of sync? Yeah. YouTube, I don't know. People have been saying that the YouTube streaming is going downhill. I I don't I don't know. Since I, I'm not actively watching it, I can't tell. You know, when I put it together and I, I do some editing on it, the it's it's obviously working just fine. Wow, I'm like how many more miles we have? 20 more miles. I'm I'm totally in the blue for the sleeping thing. I wonder if I'm going to get penalized. I think in Euro Truck Sim 2 that when you start getting sleepy, you actually like close your eyes and stuff, right? I'm getting off of the road here in a minute. I only have 14 miles left. We'll try to make it in. Gas is fine. YouTube chat, though. There's a huge delay on the YouTube chat. Yeah, watching Twitch would help me out, though. I'm trying to do the Twitch. Twitch is better at streaming. They ab absolutely are better at streaming. YouTube is going through some big changes. They they have changed their UI. They're even changing. Um. They're even changing like the the channel controls and stuff. A whole new interface. So I I don't know. I th I think they're having some some issues.
I've experienced some kind of in inconsistent stuff. There's been times I've logged in where it tells me I have no videos. That was like the other week. It did that to me. It told me I had no subscribers, no videos, and I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Where'd all my videos go? All right, coming in Edinburgh. We got five miles to go. Yeah, YouTube. There's a huge delay on chat in YouTube. All right, I saw the speed camera thing. You're not getting me a third time. Look at that. They put it right after the change of speed. That is so wrong. That should be illegal. It's called entrapment. All right, where am I going here? I'm going in and around this circle. Circles were a trip. Circles were absolutely a trip. The only time I had a problem with circles was, um, oh, cool. I got a truck dealership was um, when I got into the large cities. And then the circles were like four, I've never seen it, like a four lane circle, it was crazy. Is this where I'm supposed to turn? No, up here in the next one. This one is where I'm supposed to turn. Yep. Left lane, left lane, left lane, left lane. Yeah, it's weird. I, they're having some serious problems. I should be able to park this chair. I should be able to swing it around. Man, I drop enough forklifts to like... This, guy, this place is a dump. That's it, right? I'm in it, right? So I thought I was in it. All right, what was my? Any any penalties? Uh, woo, made level five. Uh, huh, interesting. Where's the six hundred dollars that I got? I got knocked for. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Do I want to take like explosives and stuff? <laughs> uh, let's take high value cargo. Let's do high value cargo. All right. Yeah, I did a new UI. They did this flat UI. I like it a lot. It looks pretty good. All right. Let's go to job market. New screenshots available for upload. I didn't take any screenshots. What the heck? All right. Where... I don't know if I want to go super long this time. That was a pretty long. Let's see. How about a quickie? Yeah. How much is this little 2000? Take some pallets. Have I been there before? What is this? Yeah, I've been to Edinburgh. Car Carlisle? Carlice? I don't know if I've been there before. I can go in the Netherlands. Hmm. How's the audio on the menu? Really loud? It seems really loud to me. I had to turn it down. I, this game. Let's see if I can tweak that. Uh, where's options? All right, audio options. Yeah, let's 
turn music down. That might be it. Two in front of the scene. Yeah, that might be it. Not too loud? Okay. Alright, we're gonna stick it there. Alright, uh, get the job market again. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Let's see. Yeah, New Zealand, I mean, you're gonna get all kinds of lag. You're going across, across an ocean. I would assume you'd get some lag. All right, let's, like I said, let's do a smallie. Let's do a smallie. Uh, 2,000 smallie. How about a 2,500 smallie? I need to discover more, more cities. That would take me to Newcastle upon Tyne. Would that take me in there or would that take me just like right by it? Well, that would give me Grimsby. Grimsby? Let's take Grimsby. What are we doing? DHL watermelons. 20 tons of watermelons. All right. Take some fruit. Yeah, they did, John. They did. They absolutely enjoyed Ireland. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. It's good days. Good days. We're doing, uh, my wife's from China, so we're doing, uh-oh, did I go the wrong way? Oh, heck yeah. I'm gonna back out of this. Uh, we're going to China next year. For two weeks. Wife wants to do China back to China I've been there once before we took um, took my youngest son when he was when he, maybe one he was born grandparents wanted to see him and so that was good I mean we did a lot of cool stuff Uh oh, there was somebody there. Go after this guy. Uh, it was kind of, it's kind of insane though. It really is. The total number of people there. It's really, really insane. Sorry, bud. Can't see the light. I gotta got somebody on the side of me. There we go. Yeah, so she wants to go for two weeks. Um... See some sights, uh, visit her parents, take the kids to see some stuff, and yeah, that should be, like I said, that should be interesting. Alright, let me get out of this city. Turn on the windshield wipers a little bit more. Oh, really? I don't have like fast windshield wipers? That's the fastest it goes? That's not cool.
All right, let's get uh, let's get our watermelons delivered. Yeehaw! Give me a set of watermelons. Yeah, we're a big watermelon family. We eat a lot of watermelons. Oh man, I can't tell you. My wife is a big fan of watermelon. I'm okay. It's got to be really good watermelon. Her idea of a good watermelon mm, varies. It varies. Of course, it's really hard to pick watermelon. I don't know if you guys have any tricks for picking watermelon. Of course, everybody knocks on the watermelon. It's hard to get those really, really juicy and sweet ones. If you can get one of those, it's like, yeah, it's gold, baby. Those don't last long in the household. Those, <laughs> I barely get the taste. It's like, did you have some of that watermelon, honey? Uh, no, because you guys ate it all. <laughs> What's up deliberately? We're talking about watermelons because I, I'm driving a load of watermelons. <laughs> Coming over. Coming over. Do we have to get off this road? We do, like right over here, right? Yep, that's what it's telling me. It's telling me I gotta get off. You're allergic to watermelon? Wow, what is it in the watermelon that, that, that you're allergic to? Just the actual fruit itself? Grimsby. Come on, Grimsby. Taking the watermelon load to Grimsby. It's got to be something the seeds give off, right? Interesting. That's interesting. That would not be fun. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like one of the least fun things and having an itchy mouth is one of them. Dude, you just passed me. What's up? Um, let's see, an old wives' tale on how to pick them. Take a broom straw, lay it on the melon. And if it stays still not ripe, if it turns, then it is ripe. What do you, like, spins? Wouldn't that also, wouldn't that also, um, wouldn't the, br <laughs> the broom... <laughs> <laughs> the broom straw dirtiness be a factor of that. So, so what if you have clean broom straw as opposed to a really dirty broom straw? <laughs> uh. Dude, I'd like to run that guy off the road, but he's he's much faster than my load of watermelons. It's like, how dare you pass me in my watermelon load? But. Yeah, that's okay. So that's kind of interesting. So that's kind of like, that's almost like, um, what do they call those guys that would go out and and find water with a like a Y stick, a, a divining rod? Divine, they call them diviners. Diviners. That's almost kind of like that kind of principle. It's an old saying. Sure. I wonder if it's like, if you could take a divining rod. And it would only point to the ripest watermelon. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> a dowsing rod. Okay, yeah. You take one of the dowsing rod. And if it would only point to the most ripest watermelon. <laughs> well, that would be neat. The watermelon whisperer. Coming soon to PBS. The watermelon whisperer.
Goblin, you say you hear me on Twitch just fine? I, I don't know how old that is. That's probably really old. I don't know, you know, those old wives' tales, you know, that's... They've got something going on there. My wife comes from a very... Holistic culture, because mainly because it's like they don't... I, this is what I say. She, she disagrees with me, of course. But, you know, they're... Olden days, they didn't have a lot of doctors, so it was always you had to go to the, the local herbalist. The guy who knows everything. And those guys, you know, nine times out of ten, you got it right on the money. I read an article a long time ago that, that was stating that, you know, every disease, every everything in, in nature can be counteracted with something else in nature. Oh, it stopped raining. Ah, there's lights. No, we need the lights. Turn off our windshield wipers. There's the fast windshield wipers, you turkey head. Where were you a minute ago when I needed you? Go away. I'm getting to the point where I could buy a truck. And the problem is I've never done that before. I don't know how that works. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry. I really got to get a steering wheel. I got to get my steering wheel either fixed or... I just gotta buy a new one. What I really need is a uh, steering wheel manufacturer to donate a steering wheel to me. <laughs> uh, that'd be really cool. I'd really appreciate it. And and you know what? I'd, I'd be happy to hype up your steering wheel. As long as it's a good steering wheel. <laughs> I'm sorry, it has to be a good steering wheel. It can't be a piece of crap. Uh. All right, let's see here. This is a pretty drive. And I get to discover a new town, which is pretty nice. I got to tell you, oh, driving in Ireland. While I did a lot of driving, I, I do love driving. Um, oh, man, when we got off the freeway and got into the back roads, oh, you want to talk about gorgeous. It was just mind-blowingly gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous country. We were going to, um, shoot. There's this old abbey. It's a tourist, it's a tourist attraction. Um, and we were going there. And the road that took us there wound up going over one of the mountains. And so, on the bottom of the mountain, it was like, my dad got this phenomenal shot where... A cloud was over us. It was totally dark. You got the mountain range in the foreground. And part of the mountain range is like cut out. It's got like this little U. And then right there in that U, the sun is shining. And there's rain in the distance. And the shot is like, you know, one of those postcard moment shots. It's just it's so gorgeous. Um, but we went up to the top of this mountain. And at the bottom of the mountain, it was it was it was cool there. It was sixty something degrees. Um, but we got up to the top of the mountain, and man, it was almost snowing weather. It was very close. I could I could see my breath. It was co it was really cold, and yeah, it was beautiful up there though. And uh, what was interesting is that one of the interesting things is that um, there wasn't. Well, there wasn't like a little rock fences all over the place like there is here on the side of this this road. I saw a lot of like f free roaming sheep and all the sheep's wool was painted. It had like somebody's initials in them. Initials in color. And they were just roaming around, chewing stuff away, sheep everywhere. There's one point in time, I think we got it captured on the road, that the sheep were like in the middle of the road. They were like, eh, don't bother me, I'm trying to get the better pasture. Sure, I, I, I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. 
like I said, it was something I read. It it it, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it was right. <laughs> uh, yeah, no shepherd. Didn't see any shepherd anywhere. You know, was looking for the shepherd with the the Irish whistle, sitting there playing a tune on his little rock and stuff. You know, some little sad old melody. Nope, never saw one. No shepherd. We got a video of that. I think we got a video of that. Alright, I'm, I'm getting close. 20 miles until I deliver this off. Hey, Gregory, what's going on, bud? Did you say hi somewhere and I missed it? Sorry about that, bud. Yep. Unfortunately, I am using a controller. I have, what is it, G27, G29? And I used to be big into driving games. I have all the dirt, and I have, um, I race and all, I mean, all that stuff. I love driving games. And, um, I hadn't played anything in about, any driving game in about six months. And my buddy wanted to do a multiplayer driving game. And so I got my controller out. And I started driving, and I cannot center it for the life of me. It won't find center. So if you put the wheel centered, you have this dead zone of about an inch on both sides. And once you get in there, it's it's very hard to control. It's like you lose control of the vehicle. You're just swerving all over the place. I, I tried. I spent hours and hours and hours trying to null it out. I, I can't. I can't figure out how to do it. I didn't. I never had to do anything. I just plug in the the controller or the the steering wheel and just play the game. I'd never have to tweak any settings. Never have to do anything. So I started reading in the um, on the Logitech forums, and it says that sometimes the the G twenty sevens and the G twenty nines will like lose their alignment. That they have to be retightened. Whatever they're belt is has to be retightened back up again I don't know it's kind of weird it's kind of weird dude don't don't you dare go in front of me Sheffield is over that way yeah so still using a controller uh, hold on coming into where I need to be uh, we get twitch later need to do other upgrades before I get twitch what does that mean Twitch, you can do it through your browser. Or you can get the actual app. I just downloaded their new app. Seems pretty cool. Alright. Grisby, or Grisby, however you want to pronounce that. Gonna make a quick left up here. To make this left. I think I'm turning in. Hold on, hold on, Gregory. Do I watch comedy shows? Uh, yeah, I suppose. What, what kind of comedy shows are you talking about? Are you like talking like sitcom or something? I gotta tell you, I'm not. I'm not that big on TV. I do watch like you know Game of Thrones and and that type of stuff. I think Survivor is probably the only the only thing I watch on television. Got to cheat. All right. All right, let me get caught up on chat here. How much money do I have? 50 grand. I could probably take out a loan too. Oh, uh, let's see here. We'll get Twitch later. Need to do other upgrades before I get Twitch. You can uh, go to a browser and type in Twitch. One last midnight, you'll find me. To watch comedy shows. What multiplayer driving games were you going to play with your friend? Um, mainly gear. The new gear rally was a gear. Hold on. Grid. Grid rally. Let me tell you what I have. 
I have I have a ton of ton of driving games. Love driving games. Drive in, drive in. I like my drive in. I need my new steering wheel though. Uh, Mr. Steering Wheel Controller uh, Manufacturer that's watching this, if you are. <laughs> Please donate a controller. I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, did I get rid of the grouping? I thought I had a grouping. I did. I got rid of my grouping. But I have... Okay, so let me kind of like read them all to you. I have Dirt 3, Dirt Rally, Dirt Showdown, Dirt 3 Complete. I've got... Um, dirt, 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 dirt. I'm sorry. I used to have these all grouped. Some reason my grouping got all for jinked. I have uh, F1 2013, 2014. Uh, I was almost got 2016. I have Grid, Grid 2, Grid Autosport, Grid um, GT Legend, GTR FA, GTR 2, GTR Evolution. Uh, what else do I have? Um, Let's see. Oh, some Need for Speed stuff, though. I left Need for Speed when they they went to a controller. It was too bad. That was unfortunate. They totally killed that series by not supporting steering wheels. I have Race 07. Uh, let's see what else I have. I have Runaway Road Adventures, uh, Test Drive 2 Unlimited, Truck and Trailers. Needless to say, we've got a lot of driving games. I like them. Cruising USA. No, I have, um, what was that one MMO one that they had? Uh, uh, it starts with a C, right? What was that name? The Crew. I, I did the crew for a little while. It, it Again, another game that they would have been awesome if they supported steering wheels. They were trying to do the whole, uh, I want to do Xbox controller or some other controller. Um, man, total bummer on that one. That game looked like a lot of fun too. But I tried to set up my controller for that. It didn't let me do it. It was weak. Weak. All right, what do we say? Do another another round? some good money off of that oh no truck that's right i gotta do a job market somebody told me or i was watching some i think i was watching squirrel and he was saying don't buy a truck until you're like level six because you can unlock some of the truck upgrades at level six so let's do another something i did i'm in grimsby here let's try to go I want to get to Newcastle. Is there anything for Newcastle? That would be nice. I, can, I want to unlock Newcastle. What is this other one here? Shetfield would be nice too. Did I see a Shetfield back here? No. Do, 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 no. What do, what do I have if I just click on Grimsby? Rotterdam. Everybody wants to take me over. Look, I don't want to go over. I want to go across. Across. Uh, not to cross the water. Oh, uh, dang it. I just need to get a truck so I can drive around. Just enjoy myself driving. Let's see. Anybody going to Newcastle? No, nobody. Just went to Grimsby. Rotterdam, Paris. Yeah. Oh, can try to when you're going to do a multiplayer with Keith. Um I don't know, he's talking about I just he just sent me an email. And he wants to do I guess this coming Monday he's doing GTA. 
I talked to him about doing a GTA a long time ago, but he never got back to me, so I, I guess that's uh, something the community voted on for Monday. I I'm not too sure. But he's looking for a group. The only thing with GTA is I, I don't have a lot of experience in it. I've got no experience in it. All right, let's go length here. Let's see if I can't find some sort of that opens up a new city. I don't want to go across the pond yet. I still want to stay in this area. Oh, there we go. That opens up Birmingham. I haven't been to Birmingham yet, have I? No, I have been to Birmingham. What was the other one, though? The uh, Cambridge. I haven't been to Cambridge. So that opens up Cambridge. Aha! Aha! Okay, that's an option. 28. Okay, let's do this one. Let's take this job. What am I hauling? Uh, wood bark. Oh, that sounds pretty exciting. I'm driving a Jaff. Taking a job. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I, I sent him an email back. Let him know that I, I think I would be interested in GTA. But I, I haven't played GTA at all. Somebody told me, a friend of mine told me that um, GTA is really better played on a controller. So, which is fine. I have a controller. Is this the way out? Why does that not feel like the way out? I think I missed the way out. Let's back it up. Back it up. Boop. Almost jackknifed it. Is that the way out? Where's the way out? Hold on. Oh, way out's behind me. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Turn my windshield wipers off. Main a um, main a multiplayer in No Man's Sky. What what is not following you, sir? I know that No Man's Sky has multiplayer now. He was he did a he he had some perfect timing on that mult, on that No Man's Sky release. I was talking to him after I got back from Ireland. He jumped like 600 subscribers. I thought it was awesome. Congratulated him for sure. That was great. It's fantastico. But I started checking out the No Man's Sky too. I you know. I bought No Man's Sky. I played No Man's Sky. Of course, I was I was ticked off like everybody else with No Man's Sky. And Oh, No Man's Sky multiplayer. Yeah, I he tested it with somebody. And I'm just going to have to get out there, aren't I? Screw it. I'm going. You guys have to slow down for me, man. Sorry, hold on. Get me back into the car. Okay. Um. Yeah, we could do... I mean, that would be cool. I should talk to him about that. And I could go far. I totally got across, though. I just went all, all out. I was like, forget it. Nobody's going to let me through. I'm going through. Um, yeah, I like I said, I just started doing No Man's Sky. I was a little disappointed. I loaded up. Let's see. What was the last one? Was Pathfinder? I think it was Pathfinder. Whatever the last one was. And uh, so I had played a good... 
uh, brick rigs. What's what's brick uh, rigs? Um, I I had played a good uh, what was it fourteen episodes? So what, what was that seven hours? And got a base going. Tried all the vehicles out. Did all that stuff. And then I loaded up Atlas. I was like, okay, well I have my base, and I have the save game and all that. And so I get in there, and my base isn't where it's supposed to be. My base is um, somewhere totally different. Oh, dude, I gotta get over. Come on, let me through. Thank you. And um, and only half of my base is there. One, half of my base is at the original location. The other half of my base is at some new location. So I was like, okay, well, let me just deal with this. See if I can, I can just somehow figure out how to deal with this. And I couldn't because I tried to put down one of those little save game things, which was, um, come on guys, speed it up. And it told me I can only have one of them on that planet. And I'm like, oh, this is foobar. So I had to start over again. But yeah, so I got long story long, <laughs> long story, very long. I, I started doing the Atlas. I, you know, I, I liked No Man's Sky, even though they kind of hosed themselves. I did. I, I mean, I really enjoyed the game. I can't tell you how long I played it for. Now, I picked it back up in Pathfinder. I put it down. Then I, a long time, picked it back up in Pathfinder. And now they've made it really grindy. And, and even with Atlas, now it's like, if you want to open up something, you have to get rid of rust first, or you have to add some sort of components to it. It's like, oh my god. It's almost too grindy. Almost too grindy. If that was the only game I was playing, if that was the only thing that I was interested in, then okay. And uh, we live for games. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. Thanks for joining the stream. Now, if you guys haven't already, uh, please subscribe and um, also follow me on Twitch. That'd be fantastic. Would really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I'll look in that uh, brick rigs. Brick rigs. I have another truck driving simulator. I haven't played it though. Mainly because I'm missing my steering wheel. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Little old ladies? I know. Alright, let me get over. But look, I got two tickets last time. Wow. I didn't hit her, did I? She somehow snuck through. That little old lady. She snuck through. Uh-oh. Hold on. She's like riding her brakes or something. I can't be behind this lady. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't... I don't understand... the roads here. Does that white line mean I can stay in that lane, but I just have to watch out for merging traffic? Or does it mean I have to get over? It's weird. You don't know I'm confused. Yeah, I... Um... Yeah, yeah. Well, it's okay. It's doing okay for me. I, it's doing okay for me. It was doing okay when I when I came out with Pathfinder. I think more people were interested in watching Pathfinder. I just started doing the... Um, I'm about to put up a new episode tomorrow. So I just started doing the Atlas Path. I think it's called Atlas Path. I had to start over. I did find a new... It's like a hard shoulder. Okay. Uh, I did find a new ship. So I started the first episode. Of course, because I bought this thing way early, I have the... Hey, an unidentified bean nine. What happened to unidentified bean eight, one through eight? Oh, that's a cop right there. Sorry, dude. What's going on? Thanks for joining the stream, man. Appreciate it. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah. So, anyways, I was on. I I I have the was it the Omega ship or whatever because I I bought it early, 
And so I loaded up the Omega ship, and then of course I went out and I got everything all repaired, and I'm like, okay, whatever. And I, I landed at this one station, and the guy was like, the guy was like, um, oh yeah, there's a down ship over here. And I'm like, oh, no way, down ship. I, I was thinking, okay, well maybe it's gonna have one or two more storage. But then I get there and it's like, mine has 16, that one has like 29. I'm just like, what? <laughs> it was like a $4 million ship that crash landed. I was like, okay, I've got to spend time getting this thing up and running. You're talking about the lane disappears? That, that's how it is? What's the, what's the sign for the lane disappearing though? They have like the three slashes, right? Which is 300 meters to exit, 200 meters to exit, 100 meters to exit. But then there's no indication that that, that lane is going to terminate. Oh, see you, Cathra. Take it easy. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining me for Chuckin' Friday. Woo! Chuckin! Little European truck simulator. I did add some, um, some mods in here. Mainly... I'm, I'm not following undefined. They disappeared? Oh, <laughs> they disappeared. Yeah, sorry. I asked the question a while ago. What happened to Bean? To Bean 138. And <laughs> they disappeared. Uh, am I on a PC? Yeah, I'm on a PC. I'm playing with a controller, though. I'm doing it with a controller. And uh, you're probably not seeing everybody's chat. I'm, I'm, I'm broadcasting on three different channels. Or four different channels. That's why you're catching me on Mixer. Mainly everybody I think is watching me on YouTube right now though. So if you want to pick up the YouTube chat, I got pretty much everybody there. Ooh, sorry, sliding through. Apologize about that. It was another... I don't know where the heck the road goes. Yeah, but anyways, I started putting some mods in. So one of the mods that I did... Um, I should show you guys the mods, but mainly they're like... The truck mods where the logos are, are more accurate. So I did a bunch of European truck logos. I need to get a bunch in there. I'm probably going to steal Squirrel's mods. Because Squirrel has a bunch of really cool mods. So I'm probably going to take his list. He's got a great list of mods. So I'll probably... Shout out Squirrel. Squirrel! Yeah, I'll probably take his list of mods. He's an avid player. He does it on Sunday though. He's trucking... Trucking Sunday? I don't remember what trucking day he is. I also have farm sim. I want to get into farm sim. You can take off two delivery. Prison escape game. Uh, called life, right? <laughs> is that... Uh, oh, is that the prison escape game you were ta telling me about? I need to look that up. It's just called prison escape, right? Uh oh. Ooh, almost, almost nailed that dude. I think that was a prison escape he was talking about. I need to go check that out. Oh, uh, the escape is two. All right, I'll go look it up. I'll look it up. You say it's pretty good, right? I'm looking for a new game anyways. I'm doing a bunch of builder games now. I need to I need to get like I need to get some people's input on games I want to see. Of course I don't have a never ending piggy bank, so I need to be very conscious. It's fun at how much repay value it has. Is it cheap? Or was it expensive? I'm okay if it doesn't have replay value if it's cheap. If it's like 40 bucks and there's no replay value, somebody wasn't thinking. I gotta get over. Two ways to escape? Okay. Night Ghost! Somebody! 
Sup. Did you get my little thing? The message I sent you? 19. Alright, well, I'll check it out. Escape is too. I'll check it out. Thanks for the advice. Have a good night, sir, and I hope you escape. Nikos, did you get my little secret message to you? I sent you a secret message. <laughs> you probably didn't read it. But I'm going to have a sub on to play a little Ashenir on Sunday. Actually, I invited four guys, but only one really responded. I think the other ones are camera shy. I invited deliberately. He's, I think he's a little camera shy, though. And, uh... <laughs> nightgown. Nightgown. Dude, you're the nightgown. <laughs> now we have it all solved, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't look that way. <laughs> uh... Nightgown 49, because the other 48 just didn't fit. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm using it. All right, let's get over here. Rust in Arma 3 mod, the life. Hmm. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, try all 48 on with the Martha voice. <laughs> no, this one doesn't win, sugar. <laughs> no, this one's too tight, sugar. <laughs> oh, loving it. Loving it. I'm sorry, I can't read your name, but... <laughs> but anyways, hello, thank you for joining, really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so anyways, uh, on Sunday night we're going to do... No, it was a... John, <laughs> John, it was a great typo. <laughs> don't don't worry about that typo. <laughs> you know what, I want to make you new art, Night Ghost. <laughs> the Nightgown. <laughs> I'm going to have some old lady smoking a cigarette. The, the Nightgown. All right, hold on. I gotta get into town here. You guys, you guys are always, always messing me when I'm trying to drive in town. Cambridge discovered. Woohoo! Yeah. Again, so Sunday night, doing a little Ashtonier with the sub. Really cool guy. I like him a lot. And uh, yeah, I, let's let's make it a double date, dude. Grab a sub that likes to play Ashtonier. And, uh, we'll do a little double sub date. We've got to have one sub out there that likes to play Ash in there. Somebody. Okay, where am I going with this? It's like I'm going right into here? Byway. By, it's not even way, Bywa. When are you streaming tonight, bud? I'll come and watch you. Come and watch you, brother. Alright. We're going to do one more run. We're going to see if we can do one more run. Try the crew. I did. I have the crew. I totally have the crew. The crew... You know, and since my... my Logitech uh, G27, G29, whatever the hell I have, is down. Uh, and I'm playing with controller anyways. I might go back and try the crew again. Um, the reason why I didn't play the crew was because they didn't really support a, a steering wheel. And I was like, you know, dude, you're a racing game. How can you be a serious racing game if you can't even support a steering wheel? It's very disappointed with them. And I tried my G27, G29, whatever it was. Ooh, where does this go? Liverpool. Have I uh, been to Liverpool? Hold on. No, I haven't been to Liverpool. We're going to Liverpool. Uh, we're taking Woodbark. Didn't I just drive Woodbark? I did. I did see some G, uh, some of the crew too. It looks right. 
You play on Xbox, so you can't join. Oh man. You know when you have a bad PC and bought a game you can't play on your bad PC. Um, I didn't, I did not follow you, sir. Yeah, I know, they're making another one. They, they made some money off of it, you know? It's not, not that they didn't make any money off of it. I just got a little bit... You know, I'm perturbed with games like Spin Tires. Spin Tires, and I don't know if this is true now, but Spin Tires, when they initially came out, did not support a, uh, a steering wheel. And I'm like, how, how can you do a driving game and not support a steering wheel. That, that makes no sense to me. I'm, I'm not a controller guy. But if you're going to do a serious driving game, you should support some steering wheels, you know? You know? You know what I'm saying? The crew? I If you're talking about the crew, John, I I'll, I can play some crew. I mean, the game is fun. I, I, I give you props. That game is seriously fun. Um, but... I was, at that time, I was all about my steering wheel. It's like I got, uh, what was it? Need for Speed, uh... I don't remember which... Which one it was. You know what, guys? Screw you. You guys gotta slow down. Uh, Need for Speed, um, I don't remember what version it was, but it was like the last one, not, they just, I think they just came out with a new one, but it was the one before that that came out, and I was so stoked about that game, I was like, yo, I need some Need for Speed, and found out, once again, they totally killed that franchise. Have I heard about the hurricane coming in? Yeah, are you in line for that hurricane? I hope you're not. Sounds like it's going to be pretty gnarly. Texas is going to be flooded out. I don't know if you guys who if you've been to Texas or not, but Texas is flat. Yeah, I'm just starting to do multiplayer with my subs. I'm trying to... Oh, uh, it's porn now? Yeah. Whew. Well, be safe, buddy. If you're in line for that. I saw a video. Somebody outside of their window. It was amazing. It was just coming down. I've been in one hurricane when I was living in Jersey. That's some scary stuff. Um, yeah, but John, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get um, some subs together. I'm playing with a guy, I think his name is Jason. I have to look. I have a Justin and a Jason and a another J. And they all watch on a regular basis. But um Yeah, I'm I'm trying to trying to get some trusted people to come up. Because you know, my channel I'm not not about swearing, not about all that. Uh, kind of PG. Um more to the G than the P. But I'm trying to make sure that I get somebody. I can't believe it. Last night, I'm streaming the adventure, and somebody comes on. You you won't even believe it. They, they come on with this hate message, this anti-black Nazi whatever message, and they spout it in my channel. It actually forced me to put uh, Nightbot on. I, I can't believe it. It was so, it was so nasty. And I was in the middle of a game which I had to alt tab out to be able to control the text before I could get rid of it. And of course it got displayed. I'm just like, oh man. I can't believe there's such messed up people out there. It's like, you know what? You can believe anything you want to believe. Just keep it to yourself. Don't come share with other people. Yeah, it kind of it was kind of a drag, man. It was so nasty that, you know, it like it had me for 10 minutes. I was just like I just was floored. I couldn't believe that somebody would be filled with whatever to to put that to put that on. 
So, anyways, I took I took action. Everybody's night botted. You broadcast Slime Rancher? You know, I haven't played Slime Rancher. I was watching um, Haggard play some Slime Rancher. I don't know if it's quite for me. Um, but, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. It didn't look like my cup of tea. He was, uh, Haggard was saying he was playing it because his wife wanted him to play it. <laughs> I think he secretly loves to play it. <laughs> Haggard's like, oh man, Slime Rancher, woo! I can't wait! <laughs> Similar incident on live stream, yeah. Uh, I just can't, I, I just don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, you know. Nikos, you, you probably stream, you've been streaming for more years than, than anybody. Uh, a car gamer? No, go to my YouTube channel. Um, I started off as a builder uh, with builder games, a little bit of Astroneer. I'm trying to. I mean, I play all genre. I, I it's 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 incredibly embarrassing, but my my Steam account, I own 400 games, so um, mainly bought on sale though. It's embarrassing, but all genres. I like all genre except for horror. But yeah, Night Ghost, you know, I, I'm sure that you've gotten your share of just very strange individuals. Do you use the, the Nightbot? I've never seen Nightbot on your on your channel. Maybe you just have some more classier people. I have some very classy people, but last night that, that person was not classy. A little too colorful. Yeah, I, I just don't understand what Slime Rancher is all about. You go and you collect slimes, but then I'm, I'm not too sure. I haven't followed it enough, so I'm not too sure exactly what it's about. Bridge building game? Like what bridge building game? Yeah, I've had to lock down a few people. They made new accounts. Yeah, rejoin chat. Yeah, that's what I had last night. This guy had like, I don't know, two accounts ready to go. Sweet. I need to get some mods too. I need to get on a regular schedule so that um, I can get some mods on. Do I play a bridge building game on my YouTube channel? I don't have like specific bridge building games. But I do like Banished. Um, I'm doing Forest Village, your own. I'm doing um, City Skylines. I like I said, I've got a, a series of builder games that I'm doing right now. But then, you know, on the live streams, I tend to go with simulation related stuff and uh, action related. So last night was um, last night we tried uh, Dark and Light, or Light and Dark. I think it's Dark and Light, which is very similar to Ark. It was kind of interesting. Um, the graphics are a little bit laggy, though. Something's very laggy. Otherwise, it seemed pretty neat. And then, um, what's my YouTube channel? One Last Midnight. Um, and then I uh, play a little Skyrim. Skyrim. I'm getting into Skyrim. Heavily modded Skyrim. Heavily modded Skyrim. It's gorgeous. It's, it's so gorgeous. It almost looks real. And uh, what else I do? And I do like driving sims. I want to get into farming sim, but the farming sim I need a couple people to join me on a farming sim. I'd like to get a community of farmers and do the farm sim. That'd be pretty cool. Barbie dream house? Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't know. If you want to be Barbie, I'll be Ken. <laughs> do you want to play house night night <laughs> nightgown? <laughs> Nightgown 49. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got some. I got some mods. What's banished? Banished is a city building game. I'm doing a banished challenge. Night Ghost is going to be in. And um, uh, several other players are going to be in. Poly Bridge is fun, but can be frustrating. A huge waste of chunks of time. Then we've gotten something real done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I need to move over the laundry. All right. <laughs> Fabulous. All right. Wait, I got a turn coming up. Can't get distracted by you guys. I'll miss this turn. Wind up in... Where would I wind up? Cardiff? Something. I'll put on my blinker. Do I do a lot of banished? Uh, I don't... I'd land up with Liverpool. Um... No, I took a hiatus from Banish for a while. I did the Banish 2 challenge. Um, then I did a, a series on just exploring the Colonial Charter mod. And I'm I'm hosting the... I said Banish 2, I meant Banish 1. I am, I'm hosting the Banish 2 challenge. That is going to start September 1st for the players. And we're posting September 15th. The first episode is going out September 15th. That's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Elite Dangerous? Yep. I do, I'm do. i doing Elite Dangerous on... Uh, that's my Spaced Out Saturday. I do a couple space games on Saturday. Elite Dangerous is one of them. I'm not that good. I'm not that good of an Elite Dangerous player. I'll, I'll admit it right now. I suckage. I used to play Elite Dangerous a lot. This was when it first released. And while it was huge, there wasn't a lot to do. It a, it's been a long time since I played any Elite Dangerous. All right, we're coming in. How many more miles? We have six miles. Whoa, pay attention. Don't die. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Chuck was like shaking. <laughs> All right, we're coming in. We're coming in here. Oh, you jerk. You're a jerk. I had my blinker on, man. You could have, like, slowed down and, like, gone into the other lane. Alright, I'm, I'm making a turn up here somewhere. Oh, wow, there's actually a, a light here. Yeah, I crawl up right on you, buddy. Uh, so in Ireland, I rented a... It wasn't really a minivan. Well, it was kind of... It was a seven-passenger seven van. They called it a van. They didn't call it a minivan. But it's a Volkswagen. And, uh, man, that thing had some pep. There was... I was going up the Atlantic, the uh, Northern Atlantic scenic route in Ireland and it is windy as all get out and uh, believe it or not the speed limit on there was uh, 100 kilometers and I was like there's no freaking way that this could be 100 kilometers but people were zipping they were like passing me I was like alright forget it I'm getting down on this one and uh, oh man I just I let out my inner race car guy I had so much fun on that road. It was a, a white knuckle road for sure, but it was a blast. All right, let's see here. Did I get to level six? Negative. Oh, no level six for me. All right, guys. Well, that concludes Chuck and Friday. I appreciate everybody joining. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can find me on YouTube as One Last Midnight. You can also find me on Twitch, One Last Midnight. If you uh, haven't followed me or subscribed on either places, that would really help me out. That'd be great. Otherwise, all you guys have a great night. I'm going to be on again tomorrow night, 7 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. We're going to do Spaced Out Saturday. And... Um, Sorry about the Big Bang. I mean, dude, be careful in that that hurricane. And uh, we're going to do... Um
probably a little bit of elite and then i was thinking also tomorrow we're gonna do some no man's sky on spaced out saturday so i hope to see you guys again take it easy you have a good one bye bye